Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Third Realm, playing as Moravia. Almost a third of the way through annexing Lithuania, currently calling a crusade against the Ottoman. With France and Austria-Hungary and all that fun stuff, it's gonna be great. Trying really hard to force the Empire under control. Having a bit of a problem in this Protestant area over here, but you know. We're getting there little bit by little bit. In the meantime, let's focus on getting some more land. Because screw these Turks. Screw them so good. Um, let's see. Still so far ahead of time on tech. There's just no point. Looks like they were able to win that fight. Thanks to the reinforcements from Austria. Uh, can we get to this fort? Let's try going to that fort. Do we have a siege general? We do. I'm going to take you instead. Make it slightly easier. Over here, I don't see any more of the uh, Ottomans. So let's split, split, and split. Go here, here, here. We're going to unsiege all this so they have nothing to really distract Lithuania with. I want Lithuania's troops all on the front lines rather than mine because, I mean, we're about to annex them. Their manpower is about to just become a, you know, go away. We could get more Diplo rep if we want to speed this up even further. I don't think that really makes a lot of sense, but we could. Instead, I think I'm going to go for the level 3 guy and improve relations here. There you go. We are the Papal Controller, after all, which makes them all a little bit cheaper to employ, which is excellent. Big fan of that. Of course, now we need to save up for another... Uh, ...stability, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. Okay. Don't worry, Lithuania, I've got it. I got this under control, okay? You don't even need to send your troops over here. S same with you, Mantua, slash Austria. Just go to the front line and throw yourself at the body of the Turks. Or don't. I mean, I guess it's... It, it's okay if you don't want to. It's just... I'm kind of disappointed in you. Okay. Truce of Muscovy has ended. Sweden's already in the process of killing them, though, so... Not a big deal there. Uh, I would like to control Constantinople. Just control this side of the straits. Now, granted, he definitely has naval superiority this time. Gonna be a lot harder for me to deal with that than it was in the last war. Whoops, nobility are getting influence out of that. Probably shouldn't do that. There you go. Okay, um... Um... Who, who, what, what else should I do? Who else should I improve with? It's just us versus the Ottomans at this point. Look at that. It's like we got all of the United Europe fighting them. This is awesome. Mm, it's a proper crusade, if you ask me. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about, though. All right, so the Austrians are already sieging that down. Which is good, I guess. Convert the Reformed. That won't be too hard. Can you kill these guys? Go ahead and do that real quick. That shouldn't be too hard. Palatine peasants. How did that even happen? It's fine. I'm sure someone else like Austria can go deal with them for me for free. Take the fort. Thank you. Okay, the next fort is here. You got three forts in a row over here, buddy? Paranoid much? I mean, I don't know about paranoid. I mean, to be fair, I'm kind of... I am kind of murdering you. Coder! Knights of the Old Republic! My favorite game growing up. Actually, pretty much. I love Coder. It was great. Shut up. Hey, where'd this infantry come from? Get down here. Uh, let's have you protect trade in the Baltic Sea. Let's have you guys group up and also protect trade in the Baltic Sea. Join up with the Navy. It's not a very big Navy, but there you go. Regulation of the medical profession. I will take the admin power. A beloved heir dies. My heir's dead? How? Well, I mean... I'm 36. I don't have a consort, though, for some reason. Why don't I have a consort? I need a consort. Um, I can get a free church. I don't want a weak claim heir. A 2-3-1's terrible. I'd, I'd rather take the chance. And it's not even that bad of a chance, because I have influence ideas with an extra 25% chance of an heir. Now, let's do this. The heir's dead. The 053 will not take the throne. We got a 453 instead! Yes! I win! 
Oh, sometimes it's nice to see an immediate payout for your gamble. All right, we have a new Empress Consort in from local. She's a local woman. She's she's great. Empress Consort Marie Sobieski. It's everlasting friendship. All right, much better air. I am super duper happy with how that just turned out. What was my previous son's name? I don't even remember because I don't even care. Ha! Ah, that sounds very callous, right? Hey, if you haven't figured this out by now, I'm an incredibly callous person. Oh, wait. Hi. There are Ottoman troops over here. Didn't think that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get our men together for a second. Siege all this down. Brunswick's maxed out. Lost another advisor. We just got this guy! Okay. Uh... I don't want morale of navies. Maybe we do go for... I mean, if I do diplomatic reputation... It will speed things up. Yeah, alright, why not? I mean, we'll still be gaining one per month. It could be worse. Alright, keep annexing Lithuania faster than ever. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, let's see. All of you guys go here. You go here. We're gonna have to go and challenge these guys in a minute. It shouldn't be too bad, though. We've got plenty of troops over here to deal with them. Okay. Okay. Good. Come here. Come here. Okay. Ready? Let's go stomp. Let's go find him, and let's go stomp him. Why can't I? Is there a fort somewhere that I didn't realize? Where's there a fort? This fort? This doesn't have a zone of control. How are you exerting a zone of control across... Oh, I guess it's... Mm. I guess there is a strait. Well, that's awkward. How am I supposed to get there if they block me off? Not sure. These are mysteries. Let's try crossing and killing. Yeah, he didn't block me. All right, we're good. Uh-oh. One of my neighbors has a fire alarm going off. Smoke detector. Hmm. Guys probably shouldn't be doing that none. Hi, France. Nice of you to join the party. Okay, one fort down. Can't cross naval superiority being what it is. But okay. Can't do anything about this, unfortunately. Now, see, this is one of the big, like... I think people have underestimated how important it was of a shift. When Paradox did change it, so if you control both sides of the strait, you can always cross and stuff like that. That was a really big deal. Because previously, I actually don't think the Ottomans were that difficult to kill. Because, if you could get naval superiority, even as Venice... I mean, if you could just get a ton of naval superiority, you could just block them off and siege as much stuff down as you wanted, and there was nothing they could do. Get their army trapped over here, siege down their capital, take all this, boom, they're dead. You can get a pretty decent uh, pretty decent reward. You know, that's a good amount of war score there. But once they changed that up, naval superiority alone was no longer enough. That's a pretty big deal, you know? It just kind of goes to show how this game is constantly shifting as time goes on. It's just one of the things I like about it. It really does change and get better as time goes on. Mostly better, anyway. There are some things that I don't think is always good, but... Let's kill these guys real quick. Okay, you go to Yanya. Can you get here? Not really. More power. Okay. Those are dead. Yeah, see, now they're just losing troops. They're getting down to low war exhaustion. This is going to be so much easier now. All right. Can I get a single regiment out here? No, because this is still technically within the zone of control. Okay. No one's trying to cross, and they don't have naval superiority there right now, which is why their ships are pulling away, because they know there's no one trying to cross. But you guys should try to cross right now. France, go, 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 go. Yes! Go get them, France! Yeah! Don't worry, I'll deal with these guys. These 30,000 people have no idea what to do. They're screwed, and they know it. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to blockade again, but it doesn't matter. France, if you could please... Okay, hang on. Uh, Lithuania, take this. And France, take this. If you could just get control of the strait, one of you will have free reign to do whatever we want. It'll be great. Conversion successful. About to get capped out on power with this again. Very frustrating. 
kind of getting annoyed by my power. I mean, Monarch points are great, but I'm getting really irritated. Okay. Where are you even going? You're going onto a transport, apparently. You're trying to evacuate 1,000 men at a time? Oh. Oh, Ottomans, you're so precious. I'm so sorry. But I have to just stack wipe you now. Oh, it didn't quite stack wipe, but we're really close. Now he's stack wiped. <laughs> oh, that felt good. All right, we have control of the straits. Doesn't matter how many ships you bring out, we are good to go now. This is going to be a slaughter. I'm going to destroy you, Otto Man. Aw, oh, you want peace? There can be no peace. Crusade! All right, what do we want to take? This is my chance to have some fun. Um, Constantinople? Sure. Why not? We can take all of that. That's, well, no, I can't. That's too much overextension. Hang on. What if I... Hmm. Nothing quite that cheap, unfortunately. I could just do this, though. This wouldn't so be, be so bad. If I tried taking this, that's too much overextension is the only problem. I'm just looking at that overextension thinking, eh. If I tried doing this, though, I could take full control of a straight so I know that I'd be able to fight him all the time in the future. In theory. That's a pretty big tactical advantage, you know? It's a pretty big deal. Not a huge coalition either, which is great. Could take that too, yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I'm alright with that. That's good. Yeah, if I take this straight, then as long as I have troops on both sides and stuff and I'm willing to defend it at the beginning of a war, I don't ever have to have naval superiority in this area in my life. We'll be fine. I like this. I like this idea. It guarantees that I can continue killing the Ottomans in the future. Do I want to humiliate him? I mean, I don't... Yeah, yeah, I want... Yeah, I want the power projection. Yes. Give me that power projection. You only have 310 ducats. Hmm. It's okay, though. Okay, yeah, let's just, um, let's just beat the ever-loving crap out of him. I mean, at the very least, there's no reason not to just do whatever we want, right? I mean, we have Crusade for as long as we're fighting this guy, and the benefits of that are pretty nice. I'm getting extra, like, papal influence and stuff. We might as well hold on to this for as long as we can. I don't see any reason to hold off. Um, let's improve with our neighbors for a little while. Okay, yeah, this all seems pretty good. Lithuania is actually doing their job, which is great. I like it when the AI does what they're supposed to. And France did come back and get this. Did a good job. France got a gift from Tunis? Why? Makes absolutely no sense at all. Okay, I'm going to keep both of my armies together over here. I think France is going to be fine. Here we go. Let's kill them all. Mm, Regency Council somewhere. And we're capped out on power again. Of course we are. Dear God. This is nobility. One of the things I do like about being in the Empire is we have that... Um, we do have that uh, development cost reduction, which is making it even easier. This is great. Six heretic princes. If we could just get peace in the Empire, also more free cities, that'd be nice. I don't suppose any of the people we've been releasing can be like a free city or anything. Uh, government types. No. Hamburg. Hamburg? Hamburg. We should make Hamburg into a free city. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds real good. Am I allowed to do that? Grand Free City status! Okay, hang on. Wish I had noticed that before, but that works. You are a free city, Hamburg. Congratulations. That didn't get me any extra influence, but it does get me a little bit more manpower and stuff, so... Hmm, it's alright. What is this? The estates demand more control, huh? The clergy want more land. What? Who do you think you are? Was that enough? No. Apparently not. When are you going to be satisfied? There we go, that was enough. Just like four more levels of development and stuff. 
Bit of a waste of admin power, but what can you do? Go siege both of these down. Nope, never mind. Just stay put for a little while then. Sale of titles. Um, free stability sounds great. I was about to use the papal influence for it, but sure, I'll do this. Yeah. Free stability. Okay. Holy war. I'm already doing that, but we could get extra manpower. Or we could just go for the free mercantilism. I mean, that's worth a fair bit. Let's do a little bit of investing. I mean, I don't, the odds of me getting to keep the Curia controller twice in a row aren't very good, but we'll try. Inflation, diplo rep, taxes. I think I'll just go for a free level of mercantilism. Boom. That's 100 mil uh, diplo power right there. Not bad. Disputed successions in Muscovy, Makuria, Saxlomberg, Tepaniquium, and Kaffa. Don't care. Please take the Fort Splendor! Um, I guess we can go ahead and grab the blockade impact on Siege. No, let's go for... Uh, we don't need propagation either, honestly. We're not really using our trade ships, they just sort of exist. We're gonna go for Coastal Barrage on the off chance that becomes helpful during the, um, League War. If it fires, which at this point I'm thinking is kinda doubtful, the strongest player is kinda weak now. Although they're still beating me in terms of development and stuff. We're almost caught up to France, at least. That's pretty good. We'll just turmoil in Burgundy. All right. I mean, France is still stronger than me. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not invincible yet. Cardinal across the border. Yeah, I'll take that from Hungary. Ha! -ha I stole your cardinal. Okay, go here. Forts. Can't really get there. Um. I know we had seen some Ottoman troops over here earlier. I see Austria marching around chasing them. They still got a fair number of troops. I do need to be a little bit cautious. We'll try taking a couple provinces at a time, though. Prospering times. Ooh, sweet. Trihofsti. This one. Hello. Oh, you're actually a pretty good province. Uh, manpower. None of this is great because they're not my states. You make grain. Um, I think I'd rather have the Diplo power, so that's why I'm going to go with that. There we go. Okay. Scientific revolution? Yes! Makes it even cheaper for me to get the Diplo tech. I think trade should benefit. How long does that last, though? Lasts until 1603. I have 10 years to get that tech. That shouldn't really be much of a problem, though. Uh, do want to get all this, but you know what? Now that we have a tech cost reduction, let's just go ahead and grab it. There we go. Might as well get ahead of time on it. Burgers, base tax. Increasing their influence. It says increases their influence by 30. I don't believe it. I'm going to accept it. See, that wasn't 30 at all. They lie. I don't know what they're talking about, game. You confuse us all. Stop it. Okay. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, hi. Ottoman particularists. Why do you have a tiny little arm arm army just marching around over here in Lithuania? Hey, Muscovy. Oh, Lithuania got their troops out. Or did they just disband them? Might have done that. I guess I don't really know for sure. Okay. Converted some more people. I think that's just the Sunni left, right? No, that was everybody. 100% religious unity. That's pretty fun. Okay, keep making progress. Supply pressure. Don't stop. Don't let up on them. Beat them, beat them down. Beat them to the ground. Let's get myself a new general. A 226. Wait, is that the one we just got? Or was it... No, I'm pretty sure it was 226. That's pretty good. Super high maneuver. I like that. Okay. Can't go there. Where are your men, Ottoman? Whoa! They're all in Lithuania. Well, most of them anyway. Okay. That's how you want to play it. We'll play that game. Let's go apply fort pressure on another fort. Unless, no, it looks like Austria is planning on doing that for me. Okay, we actually have a call for peace. Really. 
Well, it doesn't matter because I'm I'm an optimistic guy. So I got a little bit longer to go. Take another fort. There I go. Okay, go to Trebizond. Apply pressure. This is super duper easy. Easy mode. <laughs> I miss the guns and drums and steel soundtrack. This is actually pretty nice. Okay. So, you're still sieging down all of Lithuania. I don't think I appreciate that much. But, oh well. Okay. Just getting more of your stuff. Don't mind me. Not a dang thing you can do about it. Don't mind me. Mm. Okay. Kind of done with this war, to be honest. I think we can get a full 100% peace deal at this point. Uh, there's no reason to let my call for peace get much worse. It's now officially at monthly war exhaustion plus 0.5, so we're actually now officially gaining some. So let's go ahead and end this. We're done. That was a pretty good little crusade, right? I think so. Okay, I can't take any more land than this. That's still a bit of aggressive expansion, but it's reasonable. I'll take your 340 ducats. Sure. This will work for me. Ottomans, you're about to lose Constantinople. Sucks to be you, man. Goodbye. All right. That's good. Core, 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 core. Costs a lot. Worth. Super duper worth. We're not even that far of being able to get a tech anyway. You guys get to go home. You guys get to go up here. Uh, we have forts on both sides here, which is interesting. Look at this 42 development there. Ha 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 ha, it's so super nice. That's actually going to be really useful when I get the uh, Global Trade Institution going. Who are you and why are you here, Charge Infantry? Explain yourself. You don't belong there. Get over here. Okay, so that's done. Bavaria went to war with Augsburg. You know what? While you're at it, would you mind flipping them over to the proper faith? That'd be nice. Hamburg, how did you become Protestant again? Crap, they didn't used to be. To revoke their free city status. But I wouldn't be required to protect them anymore. Still not really gaining much of anything when it comes to Imperial Authority. Not great. But okay. Crusade is over. It was fun while it lasted. Let's get myself another free mercantilism. There we go. Everyone go home. Provence. We don't have a royal marriage with you anymore. Uh, do I want a royal marriage with them? I mean, you're still a Dave Aloy. You know what would actually be hilarious is if I picked up a Dave Aloy on the throne instead. I guess it is a way to try and... I mean, yeah, I mean, I got two royal marriages that could make me a Dave Aloy in the future. I mean, it's not like it matters, and then I would have the right, you know... I mean, I own three thrones, and then I could have the right dynasty to try and take over France in the future. I mean, you never know. Not opposed. Alright, you guys sit tight. You guys... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Stay there. You guys... Go here. Ottomans... Ottomans, you just lost a war. What makes you think that you deserve the right to go and immediately attack the Mamluks? I have no idea what you think you're doing there, buddy. Let's improve with allies for a little while. Lithuania finally got the printing press. Good lord, that took forever. Seven heretic princes. I think it's a relatively new thing that Hamburg got this. Utrecht, no. I mean, unless you plan... Are you going to force them to convert? You might actually do that. Utrecht took over Holstein. Utrecht is really irritating me in this game. Like, really just grinding my gears. So hard. I want him dead. Okay. Well, in the meantime, we've grown. We're going to look really awesome once I finish annexing Lithuania. For which we're only 41.6% of the way done. It's going to be a while, but still. Uh, lots of money, but I think I'd rather have the power. Speaking of money. 
More churches. More production. Manpower. And I can't really do anything in these places that I'm currently working on. This is weird. Constantinople doesn't have, like, a church or anything. Ottomans, why wouldn't you do that? You build a shipyard. A freaking shipyard. Who cares about a shipyard, you dingus? It's gonna make a fantastic state, though. I mean, for real. We're missing this, but, like, look at the development here. Great states in the future. Would love to get some of that. Mm-hmm. When is global um, trade fire? 1600. So in six years, plus a little bit more mean time, let's say about two or three, two to four years. So about 1602, 1604. The important thing is I'll still have the Age of Reformation, I think. Age of Absolutism starts after global trade, but this might give me a chance to try and get some institutions spread with a true faith. No, not really. This is not very useful once you get past uh, the printing press, now that I think about it. This institutional spread thing here. Wait, 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 wait. Why do I now have the unified culture? Nothing? Oh. Oh! It has changed. Lithuania converted both of these to the Lithuanian culture. That's why I now unified it. Well, that's awkward. Huh. I'm sure some people will be like, This is why you were supposed to... Convert your culture for 800 Diplo power like an idiot. No, still don't think it was worth it. I stand by my decision here. France, you're an empire, right? You're a kingdom still. How are you still a kingdom? I don't feel like you deserve that. You should be way stronger. Saxony, why did you convert? Saxony! Saxony, what do you think you're doing? No. No. That's it. I have to build up a spy network and kill them now. Uh, pull off a Provence. We're gonna, we're not gonna take your land, but I am gonna kill you and force you to convert again, because I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's not okay, man. Utrecht is just killing everybody. Why? And how did, why did Saxony even convert? Well, okay, never mind. I guess, okay, fair enough. You know what? I guess, I guess when we did force conversion, it did flip this province and not their actual capital for some reason. So I guess they have been a Catholic duchy with a Protestant land this whole time. So I guess it's kind of reasonable. But even so, still irritated with you. Augsburg has been annexed by Bavaria. Huh. You know, I could demand the land back, but that eliminated one of my heretic princes. So... I think maybe I'm okay with that for now. There will always be opportunities to kill Bavaria and release things, right? But converting stuff... Hmm. I mean, it could be worth it. Oh, good grief with the tech... Please. Okay, so you're annoyed. We're almost halfway done with Lithuania. Yes, France, I will marry you. Hmm. Hmm. So I can rival Sweden, but I'm not going to do that. Sweden is a pretty decent long-term ally. Austria is the one that we need to kill. Going forward. Sweden and the Ottomans hate each other now. Mm, that's kind of cool. Uh, we got a we got a fair bit of rebellions on the way, but let's go ahead and send these troops up here. We're gonna murder Saxony and force him to convert again. Don't know why you're making me do this again. I don't like repeating myself, man. Just saying, don't like it. Mamluks will cede a lot of land off to the Ottomans. Well, I guess I understand why the Ottomans killed them. Now the Mamluks are even weaker than them. The Ottomans lose a war, <laughs> and. Mamluks are still weaker than them. That's just sad. Hey, we can grab tech. New cannons, training fields, fire value, combat width, shock. Nice. Metallurgy? Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's get ourselves our claim. Justify a war. Of course, if we had religious ideas, we would never need this. This would be super easy anyway, but whatever. We didn't do that. All right, Saxony, you goofed. You shouldn't have done this. 
Hey look, Sox Lomberg's are your ally. We can go and kill them and force them to convert too, if Utrecht doesn't do it for me. Whoa, wait a minute. I'm sorry, Saxony, what? Oh, they're in a trade league. Oh, this is why we'd have to fight a lot of people. It's an opportunity to force the Netherlands to get out of there again. And fight Lübeck and force... You know what? Maybe this is okay. If it weren't for the fact that we have this much unrest, I'd be a little bit more eager to jump in on this. Maybe we do this anyway. This is an opportunity to crush the trade league, yes. And force even more of our these people to flip. Hamburg's not in on that, but Lubick we could force. On Halt got Protestant again somehow. How'd that happen? There's no there's no center of reformation. That shouldn't have happened. I don't know. I think it's an opportunity to get rid of two heretic princes and also beat a couple more people down. I hate fighting Salzburg again. The Netherlands is another one we could finally change things up. Yeah, maybe we do this. It's a little bit risky, but I could call in Austria. This is a lot of people to defend them, but... Eh, alright, fine, whatever. Screw it. YOLO! Die, Saxony! That was easy. Oh, yeah, we should probably upgrade our cannons. Chem chamber demi-cannons. And I think that's where we're going to have to end this video for the week. So, yeah. Progress has been made. Moravia strong. Lithuania is almost halfway done. And now we're engaging in even more warfare to try and force the frickin' Catholicism all across the Empire. Sox, Lomberg, Lumberg, or sorry, Lubeck, Saxony, and the Netherlands. Four heretic princes that we can knock out with this war. It's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Could be better, but it could also be a heck of a lot worse. Let's also make sure we keep building more ships, because I kind of want to finish that mission. There, that should be plenty, right? Alright, cool. So, I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. <laughs>